Hi, Cornea Solutions here. Today we will tackle the topic of how to multiply in Excel. Consider subscribing to get more tutorials on Excel. We will learn the following topics. First we will start with a multiplication of numbers. Then we will see an example of multiplication of cells. Thirdly, we will make a multiplication by a constant. And lastly, we will have an example of a multiplication through the product function. If anything is unclear or do you have some feedback, please do not hesitate to put them on the comments down below. So let's dive right in. On our first example, we will make multiplications that are shown on column B. So if you start by typing equals 5x2 and type enter, you will notice we will get an error message. There is another way of multiplying values in a cell. Instead of typing x, you should use the star symbol. As you see now, the calculation is succeeded. On our second row, let's do another example. 5 times 2 times 10 with the star symbol gives of course 100. Then the third example, 10 times 10 times 25. Enter 2500. And you can do this as long as you want. You can input as many numbers and stars as you want so you can make very complex multiplication calculations through Excel on this manner. Now let's see an example of a multiplication of cells. I've prepared a practical example for this. On column A you can see different products. On column B you can see the quantity ordered of those products. Column C is the price per unit of those products. So it can be interesting to calculate on column D the amount per product of the order. Now you can calculate this as follows. Equals, we select the cell containing the quantity, so B2, times the star symbol. We select the cell of the price per unit, C2, we type enter and you can see the multiplication has happened for all the rows. This is the case if you already have made a table. If you did not have made a table, you need to apply this formula for each row by simply filling the formula of course or by applying manually the formula per row. Now let's make a sum of the column of the amounts just to finalize our exercise. Then we will of course have the total amount of the order in this case. Now our third exercise will be a multiplication by a constant. On column A we have a list of numbers from 1 till 10. On column B we will type down the result through a formula and on column D we have the constant with which we will multiply all the numbers of column A. We will start by selecting cell B2. We will type down equals, select the first number on cell A2. We will type down the star symbol to multiply and finally select the constant cell, D1. Now we will have to put dollar signs in front of the row and the column letter of the constant. This locks the selection of the constant if you fill the formula down on other rows to apply it in other rows so you're sure that the constant is still being selected no matter where you drag the formula. As you can see, the constant has been multiplied for every row with numbers.
As the last example of today, we will do a multiplication through the product function. You can see there are different numbers on column A, there is a number on column B, and a number on column C. Imagine if you want to multiply all those numbers with each other, it can be a hassle if you do it manually. For example, I have to click on A2, I have to type down the star symbol, A3, star symbol, A4, star symbol, A5, star symbol, A6. As you can see, it's bothering, it takes a lot of time, it's, it's, it's a hassle. But let's type down enter, and the multiplication is happened manually, as you see here. Now, another way to do this on a more fluent way is through the product function. Let's go ahead and see how the product function works. We start by, of course, equals. We type down product, open brackets, and then we can select a range of numbers where we want to have the products of. So in this case, I select from A2 to A6. Then I keep holding down the control button. I select five, number five and the number 30 on C10. And you can see it on the formula. First selection was the range A2 to A6. Then we selected B6 and we selected C10 lastly. So it will take the product of all those numbers. And as you can see, it's the exact same number as a manual calculation, but it took much less time. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope this was useful to you and it was clear. If you have any remarks or feedback, please feel free to write them down on the comments below. Please consider subscribing to stay up to date with my future videos. I will make more tutorials on Excel but also other software. And please also like to support the channel. Thank you very much and take care.